Hello everyone, this is Tisha, your IT business uh, development consultant. Today uh, we have with us Mr. Raz Razak. He has been uh, in Bank of America and also he is a senior uh, BI engineer and uh, a lead AWS uh, data warehouse consultant, I would say. Uh, so today we have uh, bring him in uh, into this uh, conversation and we want to uh, know a little about him what are the works he have done so far and uh, we'll uh, actually uh, want to know uh, more about what are the outsourcing potential uh, out there you know globally whether it's america europe or any other uh, region in the world in the globe we want to know what are the potential of outsourcing in the global market. So, Mr. Raza. Thank you, Tisha. And so, I have been working in the US uh, since 1998 when dot com started. At that time, uh, like, uh, you know, the Java was the major technology and uh, or, or the back end Oracle SQL. Right. So, uh, during the Y2K and dot com uh, era, so uh, there were not enough people skilled professional in the US. So at that time, uh, there was a major vacuum of the pro professionals or right. right kind of skill set in the US. So they brought uh, people from the outside, right. especially if we see that there are a lot of Indians or our neighbors, right. they are working over there. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, also, then the American corporation companies started yeah. thinking about how to send the job to right. offshore, uh, developers. offshore developers because uh, there are some advantage because of the geographical differences yeah. that if there is an offshore development facilities mm -hmm. can be built, then uh, the on-site developer or onshore developer can hands off. Uh, the remaining task at the end of the day and then can uh, get Join. yeah get uh, get the uh, the early morning they can know from right. them uh -huh. so it's kind of 24 7 365 uh, days, work, day, right. day, day, days kind of development so what i have seen in the uh, outsourcing field is like you know people actually the global enterprises go out for outsourcing uh, because of the main two reasons they want to focus onto their core business first of all and mm -hmm. second of all they want to minimize their cost which is another Definitely. reason which is why the companies want to out mm -hmm. Off, higher offshore developers and uh, there are few, few very uh, you know well-known reputed company like British Telecom or PayPal they have also outsourced uh, some of their work because it's cheaper as well as it's very efficient to manage and also uh, they get to tap the global uh, standard out resources uh, so uh, my other question to you is like you know what are the outsourcing uh, uh, like opportunity uh, for Bangladeshi market in US right now yeah I think there is a very high potential uh, for local companies here and uh, the outsourcing could be in two form one is uh, as a partnership like uh, right. say uh, Bank of America um, at that time I heard that they have uh, about 10,000 people right. working in uh, Bangalore and all over India okay. so uh, similarly Microsoft Oracle um, uh, other cor uh, fortune 500 companies so, uh, or sometimes they they work with the local companies mm -hmm. as 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 their partner. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so in either form, there is a good potential. Sometimes they buy also the companies. Mm -hmm. So our company, Mindbody, has bought an Indian company who were providing the mm -hmm. support to us. So, uh, it it is very I mean highly I, I can see it's a very mm -hmm. Uh, you know, lucrative business for the local skill right. professionals and uh, uh, investors. So they should, I think, they should invest in the technology. Also, right. the margin uh, or return on the investment is very That's high, right. and then also the educated uh, new generation or educated people right. will get a decent right. salary right. job. Right. Okay. So I have also seen, you know, the technologies, the advanced technologies. So whenever the advanced technology come up. And there are some resource uh, capacity issue like people cannot uh, adapt the technology faster in every region like you know equally so then 
also the companies want to outsource because they want to hire a developer who knows suppose artificial intelligence or ML or any data analytics uh, expert from, from outside be because there are some resource mm -hmm. uh, shortage in, in any other region that, that that's going to happen. So in that case, what are the technology you can see that has good potential for outsource? Yeah, definitely now, you know, the latest technology is uh, AWS or cloud. I should not say AWS, which is a <laughs> branded application. I mean, cloud. Microsoft has its own cloud. cloud. Yeah, Google Azure. has. Yeah, yeah, Google, Google Cloud and AWS Cloud. Mm -hmm. So the one uh, people can select or the professional can develop themselves based on the you know the demand and need, and then yeah. also how much how many services that mm -hmm. particular cloud uh, mm -hmm. platform is offering. So. In that context, I would say that AWS, AWS or Amazon Web sure. Services has better, you know. Right, uh, right. Now also, I have seen data analytics expert or right. machine learning expert, or uh, some some ERP experts also they hire uh, for outsourcing. Uh, exactly. So uh, right. so the, there are um, uh, very good potential or high potentials for you know the analyst. Right. So. Uh, one thing is like uh, analyst doesn't need to know the you know the business process analyst should have the skill to mm -hmm. understand the process by right kind of question and right yeah. kind of you mm -hmm. know the thought process so uh, so with the kind of analyst skill mm -hmm. they don't always need to understand the exact business process what is happening in banking in insurance company right. yeah so they they, they and they can really uh, develop themselves or find out mm -hmm. what is the process, how the process mm -hmm. is working over there, and then they can, you know, do the, uh, they can design the system or they can uh, collaborate with the engineers to design the system. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it doesn't always need that you have to have, a, you know, domain some, knowledge, domain well, knowledge right? uh -huh. always. Right. So and and then other other uh, point that i would like to you know emphasize that uh, showcasing so if you if a local company has done something for any overseas companies mm -hmm. so if they can you know showcase that mm -hmm. and then also the overseas companies want to do some poc like uh, proof of concept right so architectural diagram proof of concept if th we can deliver that to those mm -hmm. overseas companies on mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. uh, that would be a, you know a, a very helpful, helpful the get the yeah to, it actually gives you a trust right. first you have to build the trust and then you can you know work together and collaboratively you can achieve the goal that you want to achieve uh, and also, I've seen many startups in the U.S. because Silicon Valley is a hub for startups. Mm -hmm. And startups need that support, technological support, uh, if I must say. So they, pro they actually hire most of the outsourced developers, uh, you know, because that is like very easy to access. Mm -hmm. So they can hire uh, a team of developers and they can actually like, you know, say that I need this product to develop by within three months span or one year span. So then uh, these startups work together with this right. that offshore team mm -hmm. and together they come up with a wonderful product which they are selling in the US market. Right, right. So like this, there are many companies in Bangladesh who are working with uh, uh, global startups, global mm -hmm. enterprises. Mm -hmm. So uh, what are the future, what is the future looking like according to you? You know, Bangladeshi technology industry, uh, how far you can see the technology growing? Yeah, I can see there is a very good potential here too, right? Yeah, the, we, because um, before we didn't have that many universities uh, and then um, also the, the human resource is very important in this area. So nowadays there are a lot of universities, they have good curriculums here, they're offering computer science, computer engineering courses. So uh, that's why you know, I mean, that's what is the lacking in the U.S. That they, even though there are so many universities, but there are right. not uh, human resources right. uh, there. So definitely over here, I can see mm -hmm. a very good potential. Mm -hmm. And then, as you say, that um, 
for development additional to that uh, for maintenance also like mm -hmm. uh, we used to say BOU BOU is business uh, 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 BAU BAU is business oh. as, usual. as usual so when a product is delivered or launched so after the rollout first rollout mm -hmm. then uh, the product or service goes to the BAU phase, mm -hmm. which means they don't engage that high cost developer over right. there. Mm -hmm. So when the business, when the product uh, enter into the BAU phase, so they try to uh, send it to the low, to cost, the low team. cost team. And in the US it's not possible. So mm -hmm. in that case, there's yeah. also Since good the potential. living cost is higher in the US, so right. it's, it's obvious that the cost, uh, they want to reduce the cost, but at the same time, they want to maintain the standard. So mm -hmm. in Bangladesh, what happens that you get this global standard developers, but in a low price, because uh, since the, you know, the, the lifestyle and other stuff, these are like uh, minimum, it's, it's less costly, which is why they can offer yeah. uh, a lower price, but that doesn't necessarily mean the developers are not highly standard. Uh, so yeah, yeah, that is one other point, uh, which mm -hmm. is, you know, out offshore developers can offer you, um, which I might include. Uh, so also Bangladesh has, you know, Bangladeshi government has taken many initiative for the uh, IT industry to grow exactly. far, and yeah. which is why that is another good point for us yeah. uh, to show that we can do global level outsourcing from Bangladesh. So yeah, thank you so much. Uh, it's good to know a lot from you mm -hmm. that uh, you have been in US uh, for uh, 20 plus years now. Yeah, yeah and, uh, and you have so many uh, wise <laughs> words to share with us and thanks very much for your time. Uh, and we'd like to hear more uh, from you uh, in the future. I'd like to sign off from here and uh, hopefully in future we'd come up with more expert uh, from this field. Uh, until then, stay tuned. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.